Welcome to the EasyFeed system operation video. In this video, we will demonstrate transplanting into the system and flooding the system for the first time. Prior to turning the system on, very young plants should be watered outside of the tray to enable the roots to establish before bottom feeding commences. If you don't yet have your EasyFeed fabric pots, you can use plastic pots to establish your plants. When you are satisfied your roots are established, you can transplant into the fabric pots with your choice of medium and move the plants into the system. Once you have begun bottom feeding your plants, you should not feed them from the top again as this can wash unwanted salt buildups back down to the root zone. When flushing the plants, simply add plain water to the reservoir. Don't worry, water will not go through the water timer until it is activated. Fill your tank, adding any required nutrients and so on. Now, let's set up the water timer. Fit some good quality AAA batteries into the slot on the front of the water timer. If you want to flood your trays now, then you can set the timer to on. Time roughly how long the system takes to fill. Use this as a guide when setting the runtime. Once the trays are filled, you can set the frequency duration for the next watering cycle. Once the frequency is set, the battery light will flash once to acknowledge the setting. For example, if we wanted to water the plants in this two-pot system once per day, the runtime would be set to around 5 minutes and the frequency would be 24 hours. For young plants, you may need to water them once every three days to begin with. As the plants become established, you may want to water them every 24 hours. The water timer has a battery warning light that will stay on if the battery power is running low. We recommend changing the batteries after three months, although they can last much longer depending on use. If you want your plants to be watered at a particular time, for example 4 p.m., you can set the frequency dial from the reset position to 24 hours at 4 p.m. today. Then the system will flood at 4 p.m. tomorrow and every day after. Again, the light will flash once to acknowledge the setting. You may want to allow the medium to partially dry between watering cycles. You can feel the side of the fabric pots to determine the moisture content of the medium. Once you become familiar with your plant's watering needs, you can finally tune the watering schedule. The float valves are adjustable, so you can choose the flood height of the water in the trays. The valves can be set to different heights in each tray. For example, if you have various size plants in the same system, you can lower the valves on the smaller plants so they receive less water than the larger plants. As your plants grow, you will become aware of how much water they use and you can top up your tank accordingly. The water filter should be cleaned every week. If you use organic nutrients or additives, then cleaning the filter more often may be necessary. The fabric parts can be washed and reused or discarded and replaced after each crop. The trays should always be cleaned after each crop. You can unscrew the connector and remove the tray to clean if you wish, but ensure the water timer is in the off position. Thank you for watching and please visit our website easyfeed.co.uk for further information.